because they don't need them. Therefore, the last they have lost. Them. So in this case, these goods here, so these goods listed here, these all have inelastic demand. The reason why is because, so these goods have inelastic demand. Because if the price goes up, the quantity demanded doesn't change, doesn't go down that much. People still buy them. So like newspapers, so um, they mean news, like digital news now. So like New York Times Online, let's say. People, if the price goes up, people will still buy it because they need it. Electricity, people need electricity, so they'll still buy electricity if it goes up. People need bread to eat, they'll still buy bread if it goes up in price. Major League Baseball tickets, uh, big fans of the Blue Jays, like season ticket holders, even if the price of the tickets go up, they'll still buy them because they, they'll always love baseball. And then telephone service, people need telephones to talk to other people. So if the price goes up for telephone service, they will still pay it. So like all these other things, similar stories here. And then, and then over here, so these are elastic demand. So, elastic demand. So people will buy, will reduce the quantity demanded a lot for a price increase of these things. So like for restaurant meals, like if the price of restaurant meals goes up, people will just eat at home basically. If the price of lamb mutton go up, people will just eat cheaper meats, let's say. If the price of beef goes up, uh, people will just shift to buying cheaper meats, let's say. And then motor vehicles also. Like, people, if the price goes up for motor vehicles, people will just um, buy a lot less motor vehicles. So then sales taxes. So, sales taxes. The so higher tax on a product with elastic demand will bring in less tax revenue. The reason why is because people people will will reduce buying the product by a significant. And then legislatures seek out products with an elastic demand, such as liquor, gasoline, cigarettes, when levying sales tax because people <laughs> will still buy these products when they because people will still buy these products um even if the price goes up yeah the price elasticity of supply is a percentage change in quantity supplied of product x for every percentage change in price product x So in this case, um, so so antiques have uh, antiques antiques have inelastic supply because they because because there won't be more produced. They are rare, and the price is high. Because you can't make more, you cannot make more antiques. So in this case, cross price elasticity um, of of demand. It's uh, so it's percentage change of quantity demand of product X is about a big percentage change in the price of product Y. Substitute goods would have positive signs, so like substitutes such as Coke and Pepsi. So like Coke and Pepsi, and then complementary goods would have negative signs to catch up mustard. And then um, independent goods near zero. So like, let's say cars and baby bottles. 
So those are like they're not related at all. They're independent. So So I'll have a, I have a question here. So applications of price elasticity, Coca-Cola versus Sprite. Will price cut in Sprite increase or decrease total revenue? A uh, good try. So it will increase total revenue. The reason why, because um, Coca Cola and Sprite are complements. They are bought frequently together, and they are made by the same company. Therefore, if the price of Sprite goes down, people will buy more Sprite because it's cheaper. And since Sprite and Coca-Cola are bought together, um, people will then people will then also buy more Coca-Cola. Yeah, good job, we'll see. Great, great job, great, great, um, excellent, Hi, everybody. Great job. So then, um, so Coke and Pepsi are strong substitutes. So um, since they're strong substitutes and they have high, and they have large market shares, they could never merge together. So Coke and Pepsi would never merge. Like Coca-Cola and Pepsi would never become the same company because this would cause monopoly. And the problem with this is like Coca-Cola and Pepsi could never merge together because they because they would create a monopoly and the company would have the power to raise prices too high there um because they are the only uh, supplier of soda for the most part. So they can name the price and maximize profits. The government would never allow this because the government prevents companies from becoming monopolies. Yeah. So, income elasticity of demands, we'll go through this. So, the Income elasticity demand is percentage change in quantity demand of product tax per percentage change in income. So normal goods would have a positive sign. So there would be uh uh so um so people buy more. In this case, people buy more normal goods when they have higher income. And then people people buy more inferior goods when they have lower income. So then high income elasticities, people with relatively high income elasticity coefficients are hit hardest by recessions. So automobile industry, 